tour. What's your name? My name is Aliu. Aliu, nice to meet you. My name is Adam. Adam. See, see. Wow, that's a nice name. <laughs> is it your first time on the English cafe or you've been here before? No, this is my second time. This is your second time, okay. Yeah. And the first one was when? It was the last uh, Wednesday, but I didn't, uh, I haven't seen you there. Okay, okay, okay. The last Wednesday. Okay, well, we are glad to have you on board. Yeah, thank you, bro. I guess uh, we can still wait a little bit before, like, yeah. proceed. I'm going to, sure? to ask you the group. All right. Okay. Sadio, um, what do you do? Yeah, I was, I was doing some lessons and I, I finished, I was uh, reading. <laughs> and you study or you teach? No, I study. <laughs> oh, what do you study? Uh, literature. Literature? Yeah. Oh, Italian literature or? Yeah, Italian literature, yeah. Like okay. didactic. Okay, yeah. can I ask why this subject, Italian literature? No, because I like Italian language too. So, <laughs> and I like their culture, so. He's a, um, he's yeah. a poet. Oh. But, no, really? no, a little poet. <laughs> so, so you're good with words and fancy with your way of saying stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like uh, sharing my, my, how to say it, my stuff. Like, I don't know how to say it. Like, when I think about something, I, I like to share it with the, the person. So I write some poems and I I say with my friends just to know if what I'm doing is good or if it's not good. So some people, sometimes they suggest to me to, to continue. Others tell me, okay, you have to correct this. And I think that is uh, very important. See, see, see. And also, you know, like, mm. Everyone has their own, let's say, likings. And a piece of, you know, poem will be amazing for one person and something completely not relatable to other person. So also if you receive some, let's say, negative feedback, never stop on uh, doing what you do, man. I like that, the fact that, you know, you, uh, are the poems available somewhere? Yeah, yeah. To read? Uh -huh. If I, I don't if you share your poems somewhere. Yeah, yeah I just I say some of them in uh, Facebook. Oh. Yeah. It's in Italian. Yeah, in Italian. <laughs> okay, and now by. <laughs> no. <laughs> Italian, so. You can't read Italian. <laughs> non parlo italiano, scusa. Solo. Uh, you, are, you are in Italy since when? Parlo solo inglese o polacco. Uh, you are from Prom. Si, sí, claro. No, uh, sí. like, That's yeah. Spanish. <laughs> I like Prom. <laughs> Isn't this the best proof that my, my Italian is just uh, not existing? Yeah, it's like my friend, Sambo, because I have a friend who is from Poland. Oh, really? Here. Yeah, yeah, he was here for Erasmus. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Sambo. Oh? Sambo, Sambo. Okay. He's, he's, yeah, his name is Sambo. Yeah, he's a cool guy. <laughs> is a, it's a Polish name or no? Yeah, yeah he's a Polish name. Okay, then your pronunciation is... Uh... <laughs> Sambo, Sambo. It's like Sambo, Sambo. It's like, it's S-A-M-B-O-R. Sambo. Sambo? Yeah, Sambo. <laughs> That's an unusual, not, not a very popular name in Poland then. I honestly, I, that's why I was so confused because I couldn't hear. And I see we have someone new joining us. Yeah, Ciao, Anastasia. Ciao. Anastasia. Yes, I'm here. Ciao. How are you? Without camera, please. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay, we will not Thank force you. you now, but in three sessions from now, at least for five minutes or for a mm, beginning smile, you need to turn the camera. No, please. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Me, I don't know you, so if no, you speak no, no, no. 
Don't worry. No. We will Just not, to... not to attribute the face to the voice. Yeah. But no pressure. Yeah, that's it. No, gracias. Bye, all. Uh, how are you, Gracia? Well, and you? Quite okay. Va bene, va bene. Grazie. I'm tired. Are you tired? Yes. So it's been a tough day for you? Yes, tough day. Mm, do you want to tell us about it? What? Um, I fight with a friend, so... You fight with a friend or you... Fight, fight, I fight. Oh, that doesn't sound well. Did you win so, at least? It's a, for me, it's a good way for to forget of fighting, the fighting. Okay. <laughs> well, I once I had an uh, opportunity to... I was in a car with two Italians and they started arguing in the middle of the road. Wow. And at some point they got so expressionist that they had to stop on the on the side of the road and continue them fighting you know <laughs> <laughs> and I, I found it i couldn't understand anything of what they were speaking but just the mm, the gestures that they were doing and you know for me it seemed like a theater you know yes it was so beautiful to me you know like some sort of <laughs> preferred, uh, acting you know with all of those uh, hands gestures the words and it, the, the sound of Italian, even when they were fighting, I don't know what they were saying. Probably they were, you know, calling themselves some bad words. But it sounded so poetic to me. You know? <laughs> poetic, even even when we fight, we are yeah. all actors. It's a, it's a very nice language, though. Even when people when people scream at me on the street, I found it very amusing. Or, and very, and uh, very uh, I think if when as soon as you will be able to speak more more Italian and you will have some practice. Even if you don't want to, you will fight like they fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. For me, it's like that. I, sometimes, uh, I don't know, I'm angry and I, I yell to someone and then I say, oh no, I'm Palermitan. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, what about uh, Polish people? Because I, I find Polish people uh, uh, really, I gotta say, um, um, with class, uh, uh, I don't know. With class? Yes, with class, so so quiet, so polite. Uh, okay, I so um, the difference between the Polish people and Italian people is that uh, for us, um, it takes longer to get angry but okay. once the top and when we explode, it can become violent, you know, let's say. So we don't have like this, um, we're not very loud at first, and we are kind of like conflict, um, avoiding the conflicts, some okay. people, most of the people, but uh, whenever the conflict gets very, very um, ugly, let's say, yeah. Yeah. and it's being you know, push and push and push, then it can get um, kind of... Wow. Not classy anymore, let's say, in a diplomatic <laughs> way. So, so you fight with class? Uh, I, I, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say. So. Let's say that you have that you are patient, but then when your patience finished, you are like a bomb. <laughs> See, kind of, kind of, could could be could be like this, but usually we we, we have like more like this um, cooperative attitude. Mm -hmm that, you know, instead of saying no, we prefer to say yes, because it's easier to say yes than it is to say no. And I don't know, when some, um, when you are in a shop and the cashier gives you the wrong bread, you're not gonna be, hey, what bread is this? Don't give me that one, give me the other one. We're like, okay, thank you. And I will ask maybe more clearly next time. And we walk away in our thoughts, you know, like, oh shit, it's the wrong bread. That's what I'm gonna do. So people in here are totally different uh, in terms of that. Okay, you, you seem uh, like uh, sophisticated. You know, because uh, with Italians or any other culture that is more expressionist, 
Yes. And you can easily say, okay, this person is mad or this person is happy. Eh? With Polish people, whether you are sad or happy, your explanation is like this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so it's more difficult, you know? Adam is hungry. Adam yeah. is uh, happy. <laughs> Actually, people ask me plenty of times, why am I sad? And I'm just like, no, I'm, I'm just normal. <laughs> it's my regular face, come on. Yes, you. That is also the... The, best, the best day of his life. Huh? <laughs> the best day is like, you know, a tiny little movement in here, you know? Yeah, like... <laughs> Fights through the, you know? But it's also what I noticed, for example, uh, the, the language expression. So I, I know that it is like this in French and in Italian, I think as well, the accents, you like move your muscles of the face a lot to accent something. In Polish, you can say everything with your face not moving at all, you know? Wow. I guess this is not a good thing. I, I think it just like makes all of the interaction more gray instead in here where it's like kind of, you know, uh, very colorful for me in a, in a way. So I prefer the Italians uh, having a conversation in the shop than Polish discussion because it's more dramatic, the conversation in the shop. Buying bread is more dramatic in Italy than fighting over aliments in Poland. You know, so. Aliu! Hi, Aliu! Hi, grazie! <laughs> what about uh, fighting? What about the fight in Senegal? Oh, it's not good to see. <laughs> <laughs> It's not good to see. Our fighting is not good to see. <laughs> do, do you use a knife? Do you use a knife? Do you stop huh? people? Do you stop people? Stop. Do we, stop. Do you use a knife? Like to... Yeah, everything, everything. <laughs> wow. When we, when we are really angry about <laughs> somebody, it's, it's really bad. <laughs> but I think wow. Senegalese, are, and Senegalese people are generally they are calm more calm no, yeah, than yeah, other so, africans yeah so in senegal so there is peace so there is love so it's not a problem but if you make an angry person <laughs> it's not a problem <laughs> they don't get <laughs> angry fastly so that's why sometimes you can like uh, play with them say whatever you want they still uh, they always laugh and they get really angry. It's really bad. Yeah. It's like polar. So <laughs> it's like uh, rising, rising. When they tell you to stop, no, I don't like this. If you speak with a Senegalese person, when he when he tell you, when he tells you that, please, I don't like that. So I think that you have to stop because when they get angry, it's not good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And but when you're only, they say Senegal is a country of Teranga. Teranga means a country of hospitality. Hmm. Yeah. Everybody is welcome. There is no kind of differentiation between two person. It's really a cool place. Yeah. But don't make them angry. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't make angry nobody, so that's why they don't want to get angry to another one. <laughs> because in Senegal we know peace, so everybody, we, we living in, uh, in brotherhood, so there is no violence. But uh, if you, like, if you have a friend who is from Senegal, so sometimes they don't like when you because some, some person can insult you, can insult you telling you like uh, a word, a word, a, a, bad, a bad word. So when they don't like it, they tell you, please, I don't like this word or it's not uh, uh, about my culture. So, and uh, you can discuss without any problem. So you are straightforward people. Mm -hmm. You are straightforward. Like direct people. See, see, see. Like you tell what you don't like instead of, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's angry it. slowly inside and waiting until you explode. You're like, hey, I don't like that. Okay, don't speak that to me. And like, okay, sorry, sorry, doesn't work. 
No, they can they if like if if I uh, if I speak with my friend. So when he told me something that I don't like, I tell him, okay, friend, uh, bro, I don't like this, and I explain I explain him why I don't like this. So he will understand. It's uh, about my culture or about my education, like that. Yeah. But it's not a country of violence, uh, so no many foreigners who are living there is a problem. And how many people live in Senegal? What's the population? Population, we are in uh, 16 million. 60 or 16? 16. 16. 60. No, uh, okay. CDG, CDG. Okay, CDG. Okay, CDG. 16, okay. <laughs> But it's a big country. Yes. Yeah, nothing like that, but... more, to be honest. So mm -hmm. I'm more excited to have someone who represents this country and to have the opportunity to learn something. Yeah, that's interesting, really. It's a moment and of joy. Since we are on the subject of fighting, you know, then, uh, for example, in different cultures, people have different approach to holding a grudge. You know what it means? Holding a? Holding a grudge. So, for example, if I fight with a friend of mine, then after the fight is finished, I'm still like, I don't like him. Or there are people who like, the fight is finished, and they're like, okay, we are brothers again. And how do you approach this? Like, you are, mm, do you rem remember that someone did something bad to you, or you, you know, tend to forget very easily and get oh, back? Really? No, I don't have a problem with the person. Even if even if we did a fight, so it's not a problem for me to uh, to stay uh, together for uh, in the future because I know that it is in life. So life is not uh, every day normal, and it's not every day that we have a good relation. Sometimes we have a bad relation, and uh, sometimes we have good relation with the person, and uh, so. As they said, nobody is perfect. So when somebody mistake, so just to think, just to be in his place and just to understand him. Maybe when you try step by step, you will understand you. So you will be together with our brother. Okay. I forget. I forget too easily. In fact. Uh -huh. It's not too easily. You forget. Yeah. Too easily. When someone like, does something bad to me, yeah. And, yeah, the first moment, very first moment, I'm very angry or I'm sad or I'm disappointed. But after a while, it's like, I forget that something has happened. And sometimes that's dangerous because <laughs> if someone treats you bad, uh, it's probably that they will continue treating you bad. Like maybe it's not the right person for you. But it's like, okay. <laughs> well, then you can try to implement the rule of three betrayals, you know? If someone yeah. does it for the third time and out, kaput. Yeah, that's yeah. the final strike. But I yeah. think the communication is super important in, in this. And, okay, I don't want to be like super uh, criticizing Pol Polish culture and Polish people because I'm afraid that I might come off like a guy that doesn't like the Polish culture. But what I think is the, the problematic is that we don't talk, we don't communicate so much. So for example, if something bad happens between people, we don't speak about it, you know? Like there is this elephant elephant in the room, clearly visible, but no one talks about it, you know? And it just kind of, I don't know, creates this very um, not nice feelings and people tend to get, you know, away from each other just because of some very small dispute that they had for four years ago, you know, I don't know, someone owes the other person a little bit of money and it can create the, let the friendships go, which I think is very, very sad. So the communication is, is the key, no? Yeah. Yeah. And with this revelation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's important, <laughs> really. And in Senegal, we had even, when there is a problem, the person, the people, uh, if they know that you have a problem with your friend, they try to call you or to talk with you and to to see a, a way to make you uh, together with uh, solving the problem. 
yeah, it's important. What about it's you, important. Anastasia? Have you found um, differences, like cultural differences, when when it comes to fight <laughs> with people? Anastasia. Or maybe. <clears throat> Maybe she has some problems. What about you, Gracia? Do you uh, mm -hmm. forget easily or you continue like uh, feeling your angriness, your anger? Maybe depending on the, the, the person who offended me, depending on the person. <laughs> okay. But um, I don't like fights. Because I, I don't like to be sad, to be disappointed, to be so. I I think maybe only for one hour, one hour, and after I smile again. <laughs> this, well, is, this is a good time. I think we are. I think we are in general very pacifist. <laughs> Me too, yeah. me too. <laughs> That's a yeah. That's good. That, that would make sense, you know? Even the organization, that would make sense. It's coherent, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we are peaceful people. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> mm. Okay, guys. Um, since we are mm, on the subject of discussing different, let's say, approaches and stuff. Uh, I think you were not the last time I was I was doing this. For example, Alio, you were not because I, I have we have just met. But maybe Anastasia and Grazia, you were with me when I was with Ada, and we had like those strange questions to ask and to see what's your, let's say, look on the subject. So I would like to propose that maybe we'll continue with those because some of them are quite interesting and they will sparkle, I think, a nice discussion and we will have an opportunity to see different points of views on different, on different matters. Um, so, Yaisa, could you make me share? No, like, so I can share my screen. I think you can share, no? I mean, I have a green button to, that I can yeah, click. Yeah, you can share. Share the screen, so let's see. No. Host disabled participant screen sharing. Okay, okay. Now you should be able. Now, okay, okay. I think this one. Share. Do you see? Yes. Yes. Now, yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, guys, um, would you be more scared to lose your eyesight or your sense of hearing? And of course, please explain your choice. Grazie, how about you? Scared. Wow. So to lose eyesight, to say, oh, wow. Okay, I, for me, I sight because um, uh, if suddenly you, um, couldn't uh, hear um, anymore. Uh, you you can use uh, the lips to communicate with the people. The same. You can read the lips of the people. But if but uh, if you don't uh, see anything uh, else anymore, uh, you can't use nothing. There there is no remedy. It's dark. Dark and scary. Yeah, so I prefer uh, to lose eyes, um, the, the sense of hearing. And how about the, all the beautiful music around? Wouldn't you miss it? Yes, I was uh, thinking about the music, but uh, if you think about uh, Beethoven, was uh, he, he didn't hear, but he, he played uh, something special. So maybe about the vibration, uh, I mean. The vibration in the notes is on yeah. one point, yeah. 
you know, in a way it's all mathematics, how the nodes connect with each other. So if only we could hear mathematics. Yeah. <laughs> the numbers make the sound. Okay, thank you, Grazia. You're welcome. And Anastasia, would you like to share with us? I have the same, I don't know. Uh, uh, I think the eyesight, yeah, uh, because it's difficult to go to, I don't know, to buy the food or to do, I don't know, if you don't uh, hear or you don't, uh, you can't speak, uh, you can explain or you can see, you can uh, read, but if you don't see, is is very difficult. And I think the sky is uh, beautiful less than uh, the music for me. The sky are, I don't know. The sky is, no, it's, it's okay. my English is <laughs> no, Don't it was worry. good. The sky is Anastasia, so beautiful. English language cafe is the place to practice English, you know, it's a no judgment zone. Yes. So don't worry, it was perfect. Nice. Thank you very much. So how you how about you? Okay, good. I see the question, but it is a very difficult question. <laughs> So my choice, it will, it will be easy because uh, I know that there are two elements that, that they are really important uh, for everybody. And uh, so when you lose your eyes, uh, sight, uh, it's really difficult in this uh, period without uh, if you are if you living alone or if you are young, so there are many difficult uh, that you are facing, and uh, you want to arrive to 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 see. So, and uh, when you lose your hearing, so I think uh, it will. If I have to choose, maybe I will <laughs> only choose uh, to lose my hearing, but I don't like it. So, <laughs> because if you have the uh, you have the eyesight, you can uh, understand by seeing uh, the object or the person when they speak. Even if you don't hear them, you can you can understand what they say when you see the movement of their uh, of their mouth. Or when they explain you by just, but uh, you don't arrive to listen good music, <laughs> and you don't arrive to listen the voice of your <laughs> of the person that you you when you discussing with a person. So it's really difficult. Uh, so it's not easy choice for me, but I like. <laughs> I will choose the eyesight. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit more difficult to you now. Uh, imagine now that you write your poetry and you can never hear how it sounds. You know, you write the piece and you can never hear it. You don't know how it, you know, connects together because I, I assume that poetry is not only about the meaning, it's also about the phonetics of the words, how to create yeah, yeah. one whole picture. So now imagine that you cannot never hear your poetry being recited yeah that's true that's true because sometimes i when I, I when i write something like about storytelling i write it like a poem but i put some music i put some music to to try to make it like a song or to try to make a good rhythm when the person read he read uh, reads it with uh, harmony so it's important to hear See. Okay, thank you, thank you, Alvin. You're welcome. Yeah, Isa, do you have a different yeah. answer, approach to this? For me, it's difficult because I can't imagine my life without music. <laughs> Even if right now, I don't know if you can hear what I hear, 
but there is music in my house from by the Meleketen, like <laughs> my friends group, and I listening to a song, to the same song like for the tenth time or uh, today, <laughs> because they are they are repeating hello, everything. Hello. So hello. So right uh, now, hello, 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 everyone. So yes, right now I wouldn't mind to lose my hearing sense. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I think I would be more scared about losing vision because mm -hmm. I think that light will be mm -hmm. it will be more difficult to adapt for me like to adapt to the city, to the streets, to the, even to my own house. And also because I, the, to lose the beauty of a uh, mm -hmm. sunset or, or the sea or reading a, a nice book. So I think it would be very difficult for me. That makes, that makes sense. Willie, welcome. So nice to see you. Hello, man. You came in the blue timing because we have a great question for you. Okay. Can you see on the screen? Ask, ask. I'm reading the the post. See, so uh, Willie, would you be more scared to lose your eyesight or your sense of hearing? Ah, uh, my eyesight. Why? Because without see anything, it's a nasty feeling. Because I describe everything for my opinion. Uh, but I prefer not to hear that, not to see. Imagine, you know, all those beautiful women walking in front of you. And yes, you yes. Yeah. This is, this is not, no. I'm fine. <laughs> the blind people use the touch like eyes. It's more uh, interesting <laughs> use the touch, but I prefer to see. Thank you, Willie. I think we, because, okay, my, my approach to the subject is basically exactly the same. So I think like this is one of those things that we can all agree upon. 100% of the consent of all of the participants. Wow. This is unusual. <laughs> and if you have read uh, this novel, the, oh, I don't know what's the name in English. What's the name in Italian? In Italian, La Cecita. Uh, oh, yeah. No, no, doesn't bring any bells. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a very famous, it's by a, a Portuguese uh, writer, hmm? Jose Saramago. Okay, now. Uh, if you have read that that book, you will never want to to lose your vision because it's very but, uh, really it's But because it tells the story of a person who lost the vision, or is it because? Ah, it's, it's called blindness. Blindness. Blind. Oh, okay, now it makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> no. no, like for me, music is super important. I cannot even fall asleep without music, so I guess very, very, very important. Uh, but at the same time, not being able to enjoy the even the the views of Palermo and the the, the mountains, seeing them, yeah, the, the Monte Pellegrino in the you know setting sun. My my day was made, you know, like I'm happy now. So losing all of this and instead being able to feel all of the scooters passing by. <laughs> they are super yeah. loud. I'm okay. angry. So let's move to 
another question and see what's hidden in there. I don't even know what's in there, so I will be equally surprised as you. Ben. Mm. Wow. This is an open question. We had a time um, machine. Yeah. Mm. Anyone wants to start? Anyone who has an but idea? Can, can you only choose the time or also the, uh, the place? Does it depend? Okay, you know, you know, both, both, you know, you, you choose the period and you can choose also what place comes with that period, you know, because I assume that, I don't know, Middle Ages will be different for someone in Europe than it will be uh, for someone in Australia or somewhere, you know, so I guess like it comes with the place because very much tightened with it. So you have an idea, Yaisa? I don't know. I there are so many periods that I will travel to. I will go to the the sixties in the United States to go to the Woodstock Festival and San Francisco in that period where the hippies. <laughs> yeah. I think you would find your way around. <laughs> yeah. But there are so many periods that I would like to, to see and, and experience. Okay. Um, I have an idea already. I actually came with it some time ago when I was reading a Wikipedia article. And I, I just realized that I would really love to go back, not, not very long time uh, in the past, similar to yours, Eiza, in the 50s. Um, but in order to experience uh, you know, because in the 1953, I think, um, there was the first summit of Mount Everest, you know, the first person ever stood on the top of the Mount Everest. And I read that there was an expedition of 400 people going into the unknown of the Himalayas, you know, discovering all what's in there. Can you imagine the sort of adventure those people must have had, you know, you go to the highest mountains in the world, no one has ever been there, there's a group of 400 people with you, huge expedition, you don't know whether you will survive, you don't know who will go on the summit first, you know, the thrill of the of the competition and everything, you know, so I think I would love to... to more be... or less like the Woodstock Festival. <laughs> more, more or less, kind of, you know, <laughs> but... don't know how it's going to end. <laughs> See, 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 see. So, so for this experience, I, I, I would love. I would love. Mm, so, how about you guys? Do you have something already? Are you? Uh, Adam, uh, can you explain a moment what means a time machine? Sorry? What, can you explain a moment uh, what means a time machine? It's I like a, time, a, a machine uh, where you where you can travel in time, so you can go to a different period in history. Uh, okay, it's like or to uh, the future. Plane, or it's it's a different. What? Sorry. It's like a plane, or it's a different. Like. Uh, no, 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 like imagine, you know, that, I don't know, my wardrobe is a time machine. So when I enter my wardrobe and I leave it, then I'm suddenly in the Middle Ages. I don't know, I travel 100 times, 100 years back in the time. You not, can not go necessary. to the times of uh, dinosaurs. See, or, or the times of when the earth was being created or when there was the Roman Empire. Any sort of period you, you, you would like to, you know, from the history or from the past. So, for example, when we travel to another Okay, country, okay, I understand now. It is all about the past. But or what the or about the future. Okay, so uh, if I had a time machine, I really uh, would to travel in some place in Italy, like a uh, place where there was a uh, uh, very uh famous uh, writers like the place where was uh, dante alighieri oh florence uh, i think no i like uh, really to to visit it and i like really to go uh, 
uh, in some countries in Europe and in, in Africa too. <laughs> so <laughs> just to discover their culture and their, their but, history. But in which period, in which time? In what time? Yeah. You but can we, choose the year that you want from the creation the, of the, the world. In the past. In the past or in the future? Yeah, like in the, the 14th century, the mm, beginning of Renaissance in Florence, you know, you can talk with the Alighieri and you can talk with the, I don't know, Leonardo da Vinci, or you want to travel in the Woodstock times or something. Okay, so I want to travel in the, in the, how to say it, uh, in the Socrates times. <laughs> Socrates. Yeah, in the philosophy, so <laughs> the philosophy and uh, just to move in his concept and in his uh, uh, dynamic, really, to, to understand many, many things about life. Nice. Yeah. And how about you, Willie? Do you have your... Me, me, I like uh, the period where uh, everybody loves, I think, is the Beatles period. But I don't want to go in, in any place other I won't stay in Italy. Because I think in that period, young, where I'm more open mind, and I like. And also the 60s. Yes, yeah, 70s. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. That's good. Anastasia? Uh, actually, I. I want to see how um, the Egyptian, yeah, uh, built the pyramids. I don't know if it is correctly. Yeah, to the to the time of pyramids, where yes, pyramids were when uh, when Leopard. they was built. Yeah, well, wow, that's a good idea too. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, really, because you said Cleopatra, do you know yeah. that the, mm, for Cleopatra, the time when the pyramids were built was so much distant in the past as for now, uh, for us, is Cleopatra now. So when Cleopatra was ruling the Egypt, for her, the pyramids were already like very ancient, ancient history. And I think this is kind of a... Mind blowing when you think that Cleopatra for us is so distant as for her the pyramids were, you know, like it kind of puts yeah. how, how, how old those constructions are. Wow. So it was closer for her to witness the uh, first person standing on the moon than to witness the pyramids being built because there was smaller time interval. It's crazy when you think about how quickly we've moved in the with the technology and, and stuff within just two millennia, you know, millennia. But it's just imagination. See, see. Yeah. I mean, see, see, in, in a way, yes. <laughs> uh, the, the Egyptians are super interesting. It's super intriguing yeah. culture for me as well. Actually, I'm the I, first I, 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 I writer. <laughs> I would accompany you, Anastasia, in Egypt. I'm curious about that as well. This must have been a super interesting. Well, in the past, see, uh, with who? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no I, don't just think that I, I would go with you to Egypt, you know, to see that because I'm also curious. I don't know, lonely. I think, uh, but I think it, it it would be kind of hard. You know, because of the slavery, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that's in, yeah. it's but a in this scenario, that you are not considering. I think in this scenario we're not slaves, okay? Okay, okay. 
imagine, imagine that someone comes suddenly with this kind of clothes. Come on, we will be like God in there, basically. You know, when you, actually, you know, when you put a hoodie, I could put like some mask on myself and they could mistake me for some one of the inter gods, you know? So perhaps there would be a way to, to avoid this. Mm -hmm. In a, in a, in a yes. manner. Okay. Well, grazie. Okay, it's a complicated uh, question because uh, I, I like so many periods in past times. Uh, for example, uh, I love uh, Middle Age, uh, and because of the fact, uh, um, I like the armor. Do you know armor? Mm -hmm. I wish I could wear an armor, maybe and 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 uh, an, uh, maybe uh, fight in an army, <laughs> in an infantry, for the uh, to the um, to defend the king. To protect the king and uh, okay, it's imagination. I see, the, I see the fighting mode did not leave you, right? Grazia. No. <laughs> Imagine no. Grazia as uh, John of Arc. Do you yes. know? <laughs> yes, I know, but well, that would not end. be a good fate for her, would it be? Oh, okay. Um, I am some heretical point of view. So probably my end uh, would be the same of uh, John Halak. So maybe they burn. <laughs> maybe they burn even me. <laughs> and uh, Grazia, you said that you like the armor from the Middle Ages. Yes, I love the armors, but um, I use the like, like the full plate armor, you know, full metallic one, or more like yes. some. Full, full metallic. You you can see anything. Like full. a cat. Yes. Yes. Like a knight. Okay. This, this sort of armors. Imagine how heavy they must have been. Yes. I, I think uh, it is. Uh, it is heavy. Yes. But it beautiful. But but beautiful. Probably if, if I if I had one of, like this, I wouldn't be even able to stand from my chair. You know? <laughs> Because <laughs> it's easily like 80 kilograms or something, I guess. But I don't know. Maybe. Okay. So let's let's see what the next question um, has for us, Hayden. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh... What happened, Willie? <laughs> No, my friend, tell I come to pick up you with my car. Now and, or soon? Okay, I will answer later. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's almost already eight, so. Yeah, okay. you can watch seven, seven minutes. Yeah. <laughs> See, see, see. So it looks like you really have some plans for tonight, huh? No, you misunderstood. Mm -hmm. No plans, no plans. <laughs> what? Then, uh, okay. Can I answer? See, yeah. of course. Okay. Um, I will, uh, will bring a library, an entire library, food and water, and this is all. <laughs> and when with food, uh, the whole supermarket? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, it's a good idea. But but look, um, when you take the library and the supermarket, in supermarket you already have food and water, so you can still take a third thing. Okay, and third, um. I don't know. A pen, because I I write on the book. When I read, I I write. I I am writing. Okay. Yes, on the book. And uh, a pen. Yes. And uh, also in the supermarket, you will probably have plenty of uh, glass bottles, so you could send us letters in a bottle. And throw it to the sea. Yes, and uh, maybe uh, we'll be 
uh, the clothes on the supermarket. Probably they will. Because I I need. Well, would you? There would be no one on the island, so the fashion will be whatever you put on. You know, it will be the highest fashion in there. So. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, that was a smart answer. You smart ask. You want. Yeah. So, Willy, how about you? What would you take with you? I wanna go in an island with my love, food, and water, and stop. Okay. And, and if Very romantic choose. But your love is a thing. <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Wow. Uh, we're wow. asking if the love uh, is a thing. If it is a thing, because we said uh, three things. Objects. Objects. Okay, okay, sorry. Uh, water, uh, food, and... Uh, And the fire, fire. Banner, banner. Okay, but now let's let's say that on the island you have plenty of food. For example, there's a lot of Coconuts. trees, fruits around, and there are but... sources of water, so we don't have to worry about food and water. What other additional things, you know, that are the most important, let's say, for you on this abandoned island would be? Uh... I don't know. A lighter and. Uh, How about a My cell phone. See? There is internet connection. I hope. Well. Let's say that in this scenario, Elon Musk has already managed to put all the Starlinks on the orbit and there is free internet all on the world. So we wow, have... wow. And uh, my cell phone lighter and uh, a pillow oh. and stuff. A good night's sleep is important to make you happy in the morning. Yeah, thank you. You don't want your back to keep. <laughs> and uh, thank you, Willy. So, Aliu, do you have an answer? Yeah, I, I have one. So, I was thinking about <laughs> that, but I have a uh, now like phone and uh, a book. And uh, where to sleep? Or uh, I don't know how you call it. A tender, not tender. Where to sleep uh, during the the night? A <laughs> tent. A tent. Yeah. Uh. yeah. So book on my phone and a tender. And and in specific book or just the book? Yeah, on a specific book. Yeah, because in my phone maybe I can uh, download the other books. And I can bring it with me. See, see, that makes sense. Okay. Grazie mille. Grazie mille, Aliu. Uh, Grazia, would you like to share with us? Okay. Uh, sleeping bag. I think it would be comfortable. And uh, a knife. Knife. See. And, okay. Um, and something to make the water boil. I, I can I say like a teapot? Okay, see, see, like they're using the travels to gas and or something, or just the, the pot? No, just the pot okay. to put on the fire and make the water boil. And uh, mm -hmm. I think there are three so the knife, the pot, and the sleeping bag. Okay, these are these are good choices, very survivalist approach. 
not the comfortable of having a book or something, but the survivalist, you know. If you have a knife, I you can, uh, you can uh, go. I um, answer. You can. You can. I can say. Uh, you can um, find animals, or do you, do you need a, a knife? Even a fruit. If you find the fruit, you need a knife to cut. Survive it. Yeah. Life opens a lot of opportunities, so that's a good choice. I I, I always um, in, in my keys I have a, a special knife, and uh, uh, apparently it is a leaf. It appears as a, as a leaf, but you do, um, if you open this leaf, it's a, a knife. <laughs> well, that's it. You like weapons, don't you? Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right now, the, the image of, of you fighting with your friends is drastically changing in my head, you know. <laughs> is your, does your friend survive? I, I love uh, weapons, but uh, especially um, Japanese weapons. I love the Japanese culture and mm -hmm. even the history, samurai, ninja, mm -hmm. something like that. Okay, that's actually super interesting. Um, I wish we could um, have a topic dedicated to, to Japan because this is, for, for me, this is a super undiscovered culture still. And I, I would love to, 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 to find more about it. Unfortunately, today we, we, we cannot. Uh, thank you, Grazia, for sharing uh, with us. So, Yais, would you like to? Quickly say what what you, you would take with you. Uh, I'm not very sure about what I will bring. Like I would like to bring a lot of things. You had you had mm. so much time and so, so many inspirations on the way already. Eh? That's that's why I was thinking about some books, like a a, a whole library, like Anastasia said. Uh, maybe a guitar or a ukulele or something because I will have plenty of time to learn it. But I was thinking also that I would need some uh, my hammock or a tent, and I will need some blankets because in the uh, at night it can be cold. So we are already at four or think five, uh, five things. So yeah. <laughs> It's a tough choice. Yeah. Mm. And also a knife. knife. You took a lot of stuff with you. <laughs> no, knife is very important, as Gracia was saying, to cut yeah. fruits. Um... Okay. Um, so I will take a knife with me for sure, a hammock, and let's say a Kindle, so I can download plenty of books and do something with my time. Yeah. And you know that you know in the times of pirates, pirates when they were you know in the Caribbean Sea and stuff, there was actually a custom of leaving some crew members behind on an abandoned island. And do you know the Tom, the Robinson Crusoe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it's based on a true story of a guy who was left behind on an island by his uh, the captain of his ship. You know they just left him. And what they usually would do, they would leave you with some uh, water, with some food, and a pistol. So if you are here, you you cannot send it anymore. You can just commit suicide. And and I think that shit, like this this sort of things were real, you know. Blew my mind. Blew my mind. Okay, guys. So I, I guess I'm with this. Interesting fact from the history. Uh, we can conclude today's uh, English language cafe. Uh, thank you very much for, for coming, uh, joining us. And well, I hope that you guys had some fun and you had an opportunity to practice a little bit of English because I for sure have plenty of fun with you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. It was really a pleasure. <laughs> okay, guys. So until yeah. the next time. See you next Bye -bye. Wednesday. Okay. Ciao, ciao. Bye. 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 Bye